Over the last two years, there has been a ton of hype for Jackson State football. The hype is thanks in large part to their head coach, Deion Sanders, who is obviously an NFL Hall of Famer and one of the most legendary figures in the sport of football. Last year, Jackson State had a breakout season led by Coach Prime and his son, Shadur Sanders. Many people probably know Shadur Sanders, but just how good is he at Jackson State? Did you know he was a four-star recruit coming out of high school? And how did he get to this point? Those are some storylines we're going to explore in today's video, as we're going to talk about the rise of Shadur Sanders, how good he has been for Jackson State so far this year, and I think it's going to be a fun video. But before we can get started, be sure to leave a like if you want to support the channel, subscribe if you are new, and turn on notifications so you never miss when I upload. Now let's get started. In order to understand how Shadur Sanders became one of the best young quarterbacks in college football, we first need to go back in time. Obviously, he is the youngest son of the legendary Deion Sanders who played at Florida State. It seems though that Shadur had the brightest future out of all of his sons. I bet it was tough growing up in that kind of spotlight, but Shadur seemed to handle it pretty well. At an early age, he showed immense potential, as his dad gave him the nickname Grown at the age of only seven years old. Prime said, quote, from the age of seven years old, nobody calls him his name. He's a grown man in a kid's body. At nine years old, he was starting to do complicated things for a quarterback, and many were pegging him as the next big thing in the area. While he understood that his best sport was football, he didn't honestly gravitate towards it, as he played three different sports, and it took quite a while for him to fully lock in. It happened one day when he was going up against a bunch of other kids in the area, and they all had trainers. He said he was just as good or better than those kids, and that if he had a trainer, he could take his game to the next level. That's why the Sanders family decided to hire Jeff Blake, and it paid off for him. Blake turned him into a pro-style quarterback and changed his mechanics in his game, and because of that, he got to start right away in high school. As a freshman, he threw for 34 touchdowns with only eight interceptions. His dad was the offensive coordinator with him at Trinity Christian High School, and he began to blow up and put up big time numbers in win big games. Through his first three years of high school, Sanders had thrown for 8,796 yards with 123 touchdowns and only 19 interceptions. He was a big time recruit who had a ton of offers, but where would he go? Well, Willie Taggart had targeted him while he was the head coach at Florida State, so when he became the new head coach at Florida Atlantic, he had a shot to land him. Shadur said, quote, when I went there, Coach Taggart just showed a lot of love. I can just tell it is a change that is going to happen in a program. This year was an all right year, but I know they're gonna have some great ones coming. This would eventually lead to Shadur's commitment and Sanders decided to become an owl. He said, quote, I wanted to write my own legacy. FAU gave me an opportunity to do that. I trust the staff. Owls coach Willie Taggart was the first coach to offer me an opportunity to play at the next level. He chose the Owls over the likes of Alabama, LSU, and Florida State amongst other Power 5 programs. But this would not last long, as eventually he could not pass up the opportunity to play for his dad at Jackson State. That's why he flipped to the Tigers, saying, quote, I couldn't pass up an opportunity to help level the playing field and pursue equality. Dad, I got your back. He chose the Tigers over 26 other total scholarship offers. The guy was a huge deal too. According to 24-7 Sports, Sanders was a four-star recruit, the number 26 quarterback, and the 241st best player in the class of 2021. Coming out of high school, he was compared to Jacoby Brissett and was a rejected fourth through seventh round draft pick. Coach Prime obviously now had his talented son at quarterback, so how would he end up doing? Well, he arrived with a lot of hype, and as a freshman, he was spectacular. He led Jackson State to its first SWAC East title since 2013 and its first SWAC championship since 2007. That all happened in 2021, and he had a record-breaking freshman year. He passed for 2,971 yards, 28 touchdowns, and 5 interceptions. He also led the conference with a 68.7 completion percentage, and he was the freshman of the year, a second-team all-SWAC selection, and he also won the Jerry Rice Award. Pretty much every accolade a freshman can earn was given to him last year, so obviously there was going to be a ton of hype for 2022. Except, he was going to have some difficulty before the start of the 2022 season. Things have been really tough lately for both his family and the Jackson State program, as the city of Jackson was, was hit with a flood that wreaked havoc on their water treatment plant, which has left most of the city without access to clean water, and that has devastated the community. To make these even worse, Dion's grandmother recently had passed away as well, so combining those factors, Dion wanted the Tigers program to go out and dominate in their week one game to provide some relief to himself and the community. His son took that to heart. In his first game, he completed his first 17 passing attempts 
and went on to have a career performance. He finished 28 of 31 for 311 yards with five touchdowns and no interceptions. To be fair, Florida A&M is in a very difficult spot right now as a ton of their players are struggling to stay eligible and they're kind of in a dumpster fire right now, but that does not take away from how great of a performance Jackson State and Shudder Sanders had. He's likely going to have a huge season for them and the NFL scouts are already beginning to take notice, but that's not even on his mind. Shudder said, quote, I'm not too concerned with that. All that stuff will figure itself out and that's what I have my team and my dad for when it's time. For now, I'm just focused on this season. So yeah, Shadur has a lot of hype to his name, and Jackson State has been pretty hyped up over the last two years. Coach Prime is starting to establish Jackson State as the premier HBCU program, and I'm definitely very excited to see what Shadur is going to do over his next two seasons there, and if he can end up making it to the NFL one day. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, as he had a great week one performance, and Shadur definitely has a pretty cool upbringing. Let me know your thoughts down below though. What do you think of the Jackson State football program? Is Shadur a future NFL player? And what topic, player, or subject should I take a look at in my next video? Be sure to let me know down below. Leave a like if you want to support today's video on the channel. Subscribe if you're new. And check out all my other videos on the end screen. Hope to see you guys again soon. And until next time, peace.